Hey guys, and uh, welcome to another segment of Browser World. I'm glad that you guys could uh, tune in uh, with us today. Um, our saga continues <laughs> on uh, how to draw caricature. Uh, today, what I did was I, uh, at the request of some of my uh, followers on uh, YouTube, and I thank you guys for watching, I uh, took this guy here, uh, Clay Thompson, uh, the knockdown three point shooter artist, him and Seth Curry, those guys are amazing. And I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna show you how to draw them, okay? So I already have my picture here, and I'm gonna break out my old trusty sharp. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna get a general outline of this whole face. Now we can see this a little bit cut. Oh, I got it right there, okay. So let me go ahead and start drawing the top of this head. So what I'll do, I don't wanna make it too flat because it'll take away from how is the texture that is here we have. So I'm gonna go ahead and kind of draw the top of it here. Okay. Now I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna bring that down just a little bit more. And I'm gonna start to draw the shape that you see of his ears, just like so. Okay, that looks real good. Now guys, what we're gonna do is we're gonna capture the bottom uh, portion of his face. So that's simple, we're gonna bring those ears in more, and then we're gonna just come down to the bottom. And then we're gonna just bring his chin here. All right, and then we're gonna to come to the other side and bring the chin in there. So now you can see we have a pretty good match to how his face is gonna be shaped. Now I'm also gonna put his neck, okay? And just kind of give me an angle of you know how I want my face to go. All right, now let's go ahead and start working inside the face. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just draw the shape that I see for his forehead. Okay. And I'm just gonna bring it around. And I'm gonna bring it around here. Okay. So now we got the top part of his face. Eyebrows. I always, I kind of work from the top down, but every picture is approached differently. So let's go ahead and we're going to draw what we see here. We're going to draw the underside of the eyebrow real quick. So that's going to look kind of like so. Okay. And because his eyebrows are kind of close together a little bit, I'm going to play with that a little bit in my drawing. So now I'm going to just kind of Lean back like so with my line, then I'm gonna bring it across and connect it. And then we'll do the same thing on this side here. Okay, let's bring this over just a little. And I'm gonna leave room to emphasize those cheekbones. So I'm just gonna connect those in. Now guys, let's work on the eyes. His eyes are very, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, I really can't think of the word right now, but I'm just gonna draw it for you. Okay, so what I'll do is I'll draw the top portion of the eye. I'm looking at the angles on the side and looking at these two points and I can see that they're pretty much the same. So I can do that with both eyes and kind of get away with it. And then I'm just gonna put a little line over the top. And those lines represent where the skin kind of folds back over the over the eyeball. And I'll teach you all about your eyes in a different video, but um, we're gonna go ahead and just do that now. And now I'm going to just bring this over like so. And then I'm gonna bring it over like so. So you can see now his eyes are starting to form. Now we're just gonna put in his eyeball. Okay. And then we're gonna put in his other eye. So now, it looks like he's looking at us. You see how I did that? Real simple, guys. Now, noses, pretty simple. I always start with the center. I keep everything kind of lined up like here. So now I know his nose is kind of round. I'm gonna go ahead and draw the roundness of the bulb of his nose. I'm gonna draw the openings on the side, and then I'm just gonna come around and draw the side of the nostril. With a smaller marker, I'll just uh, suggest to you that this is round with my marker because when you're drawing with a marker and you're not using per se color then you have to learn how to use your strokes to uh, to make dimension in your picture okay so now I'm gonna go ahead and just bring this down like so okay 
And then I'm gonna show kind of the roundness of his eyes once again with those lines mm. underneath the bottom here and maybe even on the side. Just because you're looking at it in your picture a lot, you have to know why things are drawn the way they are and why they give the illusion that they look that way on the face. So don't get caught up in trying to draw what you see on the face, rather study some anatomy that'll help you out a lot. Now guys, let's go ahead and just, I'm gonna draw his, uh, his bottom lip here, or the inside of his mouth. This would be the point inside where you see the teeth at, and then on the bottom, I'll draw his bottom lip, and then I'll draw his top lip. See how I did that? Real simple. I'll once again use a line to show that, hey, this is kind of how this is how this is drawn, and I'm trying to show you, the viewer, or the person that's receiving their caricature that I understand how things or why things appear the way they appear in the drawing. Let's go ahead and do his teeth. So I always start with the front two teeth. Those are the ones I really want to emphasize the most. And then I'll just come around to the side like so. Okay. Just kind of put them in. And then I'll just work with his gum line. As you can see right there. On the side, I like to color in a little darkness there. And that gives you a picture that that 3D look. So that's pretty cool. Okay, now I'm gonna downsize my picture just a little bit because guys, we really, uh, it's really looking good. I, I didn't, uh, wow, this is really looking good. I like the way it looks. Okay, so now we got the bases of his face. Let's go ahead and start doing our closeout work. Closeout work is where you put your dimension. Remember, I'm using these lines to show that the ear is not just a shape on the outside, but it has dimension also in the inside. You see what I mean? So I'm looking at shapes and I'm playing with those shapes. I'm using those shapes to make his shapes. So shape up. <laughs> okay, now let's go ahead and um, I'm gonna do the hair. Well, first, let me just go ahead and do his uh, eyebrows first. So that'll kind of make it. And because his eyes, his eyebrows are so pronounced, you're going to notice that when I pull my pen back and I finish these eyebrows, this is going to start to look amazingly like him. But not stroke for stroke, just a little cartoon. You know what I mean? Okay. Now let's go ahead and give him some traps. You know what I'm saying? He's a and then we do shoulders, but we don't want to overdo it on him because that kind of takes away. You want him to look muscular, but not too, you know. Now I'm just going to go ahead and I'll draw two little lines here. And these are just kind of uh, imitate where his, his chest will kind of round off at. Now we just take the jersey and we put the jersey on him like so. Okay. And then we just bring it down from there. Now, what I'll do here is I'll finish bringing that around. And I'm just finishing off the body part. Just give me a sec, guys. So everything looks good. All right. All right. Now, let's go ahead and start doing our coloring phase. Uh, he has very good hair, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give him like kind of big waves in this hair. So you probably see me do this in one of my other videos, but because his hair is uh, very uh, straight, but wavy and curly at the same time, I'm gonna draw some C's just kind of in one direction here. And then I'm gonna draw some C's here. But I'm gonna use kind of big ones so that it doesn't look, uh, I get the texture of his hair right. So you always want to be paying attention to that texture. All right, so we just moving right along here. Putting those C's in there. Okay. And then I'm just going to bring it on around. I'm still following the same pattern. I'm still doing the same thing. And I'm using it kind of to go in. And I take my C's out. Then I put them in, then I take them out. And now it's starting to really look like his hair. You see what I did there? All right, now uh, eyes, I'm gonna 
go ahead guys I have some uh, shading I want to do now for my shading I use these little uh, I'm going to show you these little uh, twisted crayon things they're pretty cool um, you can get them in the kit section at any Walmart remember it's not the tool it's always the artist okay so basically how well you're going to be able to draw doesn't depend on whether you have a $500 uh, piece of equipment. So I'm going to go ahead and start coloring in his eyes just a bit. Okay, so I use my, like a dark, like a black marker here, or even just, you know. Now I'm going to go ahead and start putting shade in his face. Now notice where I put the shade at to make it look 3D. One side, look at the other side. Two sides, right? Now, I'm gonna come over here. Side of the nose, right? Side of the nose. And now I'm gonna color on the bottom, okay? Now I'm gonna go ahead and just do some smile lines. Okay, and now we can make it look like the light. I'm gonna put some under here too. And putting shade underneath the bottom of the, of the of the head makes it look, see how the face looks like it's coming out now? The picture's starting to take on a 3D form because I'm saying to myself, I understand where the light's coming from. I understand what this, how the feature is shaped and why the light must be on this side or that side of the object. So what I'm saying, guys, is break out your anatomy books and start to study your anatomy because when you do that, you're going to start to see your artwork change. Just take my word for it. it happened to me. So it's going to happen to you. It's just a lot of diligence. Okay, guys, I'm almost there. Okay, so just uh, kind of bear with me just a minute here while I finish scribbling in my parts. I want to go ahead also and kind of color in the top lip because the top lip always has like a little bit more uh, shade on it than the bottom but you can also now delineate between the top and bottom lip. Okay, uh, let me see here. Now he also has very strong, his cheekbones here. So I just draw like a little line here and I'll kind of make a plane, you know what I mean? And then I just press real light with my with my uh, with my crayon, and I just bring those uh, his cheekbones in. Okay. And now finally, what we're gonna do is just put. I'm gonna darken those eyes in just a little bit more. So I gotta color my pupils in here. I didn't forgot to do that. And then you're gonna start to see them really form. Okay, guys. Now I'm um, put like a, I'll put maybe a few stray hairs here in the front to make it look like you know that part of his eyebrow in there if you can see it. Okay, and then we'll put up. Oh, sorry about that. And now I'm gonna put uh, Golden State on his uh, jersey here. We're almost there. All right, just make it look kind of cool. And uh, I believe he had a, let me see, what's his number, number 11, right? So we'll go ahead and put that down here too. Okay, and then we'll just go over that one more time on the line. And there we go. We're almost finished, guys. Okay. And last but not least, we just kind of need to put in his uh, put in the uh, his name. So across this side of the picture here, I'm just going to put. I'm going to put. <laughs> oh no, no, this. I'm going to put Clay. C L A Y. And then we'll just put Thompson here. T-H-O-M-P-S-O-N. 
Okay, guys. And uh, pretty much, that's how you uh, would draw uh, Clay Thompson as a uh, cartoon. Uh, I'm gonna sign my work here. I hope that you guys enjoyed uh, watching this video. I hope that you learned uh, some new things that you can put in your uh, art repertoire. And uh, most importantly, I hope that you continue to watch because I have a lot more uh, exciting things to show you. You guys stay tuned. Thank you for watching once again. And please don't forget to subscribe below.